Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review. I'm Tim Meyer with Coach Chris Smith. And Coach, uh, tough one tonight. Uh, a very mature, senior-laden team on that Stevenson side. Uh, defeated you guys 42-14. to But the uh, game was a little bit closer until it got out of hand at the end. Yeah, I mean, they just they were physically uh, better than I'm bigger, stronger, faster. And, uh, you know, it showed. It showed their senior leadership that they have. Uh, you know, they play in the, some of those guys. A lot of those guys are three-year starters over there. They had a lot of toughness. And our young guys just got a lesson in, in toughness. I mean, you know, you got to play at that level if you want to compete in this league. So um, it's not the type of lesson you want to learn, but it's one that sometimes you have to learn. And sometimes at some of those missed tackles, you saw guys that just thought they could just bump these guys down. That doesn't work. If you don't wrap them up, you don't get them down. Yeah, I mean, we've worked tackling all week, but sometimes – you know, it's, it's sometimes it's a confidence thing, and uh, sometimes they just they just run through you. I mean, th those are three good guys that can run the ball, and um, physically we just we just couldn't handle it. And, and you had uh, Preston Crum come back. Uh, he played one quarter of football this season, not maybe not even that against Lake Orion. Uh, coming back, how hard and difficult was that for him to come back now uh, in game? Uh, you know. Game four. Yeah, it's tough because he's a sophomore to begin with, so he doesn't have a lot of uh, you know experience at, at this level yet. You know, he played a little bit you know last year as a starter for four games, and then uh, you know so you know he's really missed a couple of weeks, and that, you know it does a lot. You know what you do in practice it's completely different when you get out at full speed, especially when you're playing a physical team. But to, to say uh, our offensive line, I thought, really did a good job against the things that they were bringing. I mean, we worked hard this week. Coach Layson did a great job working with that offensive line, picking up their blitz. And I think, you know, Preston only got sacked one time, which was, you know, I was impressed with our offensive line. And, you know, and Preston had a couple of bad reads that he threw a few interceptions there tonight. At any time, did you think about putting Aiden Ives back in? No. So, I mean, you know, some people might say it was, just, it was Preston's bad reads, but it was some bad routes too. I mean, we got everything. There's everything. It's not just one kid. You know, we got to run the right routes. And he's, you know, when we have reads to make, we got to make the right reads. But he's a young, he's a young player. And um, you know, young players make mistakes. You know, even though this is his second year playing on varsity, he's still a sophomore. So you know, we got to expect that he's going to make some mistakes like that. And you know, we're better off with eyes being able to play corner and being able to play receiver. And uh, I think eyes will last longer during the season doing that. Yeah, well, you beat up a quarterback. Well, we did see on some of our replays that uh, on a couple of the interceptions, uh, there were some receivers in the same area that shouldn't have been. Yeah, I mean, it's just those are things we got to clean up with, with our receivers and when we make calls and stuff like that. And, the, and they got to be able to see the coverage that, you know, these teams are playing and, and know what their route has to be. So that's just a thing that you got to learn, uh, you know, throughout the season. And uh, you know, again, we've been we've been kind of climbing the ladder every game. I think this game we kind of took a step back, and uh, so we got to get back and, and work and, and get better at those little things. Next week, Gross Point South. You go down there, and it's always a tough game when you have to play down there. Um, how are you going to prepare for those guys? Well, we, we know Gross Point South plays great defense. All right, so that, that's where you know they're always a good defensive football team. They got one of the best players in the whole country on their team. Uh, he's the number two corner in the whole country, and he's just an outstanding athlete. So uh, we're going to have our hands full. We can't really deal with them. There's things that we have to work on ourselves to get better. Well, Coach, hopefully we bring Eisenhower back on the winning track next week, and we'll see you next week with the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review. All right, thank you. Thanks. The Eisenhower Eagles had a tough loss tonight against the Stevenson Titans here in homecoming. And Brett Roke, uh, you were on the offensive line tonight. You guys didn't do too bad. Um, you really only gave up one quarterback sack. Um, the Eagles tonight, their offense really didn't run the ball a lot. Um, kind of help us out with that. Why was that? Um, I just don't think it was in our game plan tonight. Uh, the offensive line played great, though. We only let up one sack, like you said. Uh, we played it. We, I mean, we worked really hard all week for this, and uh, we're going to come back next week even harder. And, and Stevenson showed a lot of blitz packages, and they brought some people. How did you guys handle it? How did you organize that? Uh, well, we have certain things we do on the offensive line to handle those blitzes, and I think we handled it really well tonight. We had good communication on the whole offensive line, so yeah.
And it looks like you got one guy banged up uh, on that offensive line, uh, number 51, Honiger, I believe it is. Uh, but uh, whoever came in for him picked right up. Yep. Uh, we have a good we have a group, group of guys, this whole team. They can all step in and play wherever they need to play. And, uh, I mean, Ty did a fantastic job being put out there uh, at, at, in the third quarter. So I was really proud of him, too. How helpless is it when you're watching your defense out there and they're running the ball right through them and – there's not much you can do when you're on the uh, bench there waiting for your turn. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot to work on uh, throughout the whole team. Even the offensive line has a lot to work on. So we just got to get better, keep getting better. And this was uh, your quarterback change this week. Preston Crum came back. How much different it is, is it for you to block for him than maybe eight knives? Uh, it's not much of a difference. Uh, we know that we have to protect the quarterback at all costs. And I, I don't think that changed across any week, whoever the quarterback is. Okay, I know you want to say hello to some folks out there, so go ahead and say hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Eisenhower's touchdown score tonight, Daniel Sikowski. And, Daniel, uh, kind of a freaky play that you scored on. Tell us about it. Um, it was just a pass play, and then I saw it, the ball up in the air and just gave it 100%, caught the ball, and just forced my way into the end zone. Were you surprised you saw the ball pop up like that? Oh, yeah, I was definitely surprised that ball was definitely not supposed to go to me, but I'm just happy I uh, put some uh, points on the board. Looked like you guys moved the ball pretty good against their defense, uh, other than the turnovers, but uh, uh, if you didn't have the turnovers, where do you think you would have ended up? I think it would have been a much closer game. Obviously, we got to get back to work on Sunday and just start grinding. We have a lot of things to clean up offensively and defensively, but we'll get that done and come back to Gross Point South next week. And what do you think about, um, you know, you're a senior. Uh, it's a young team. Uh, how do you keep these younger guys uh, paying attention? Um, I, ju I just like to remind them that even if you're a younger guy, there's a lot of seniors on this team, and it's the last year that we'll ever play football. So just if you're not going to give it, just give it for us at least. Good, good answer there because a lot of uh, past Eisenhower Eagles seniors felt the same way. You guys got to grow into Gross Point South uh, next week. Uh, what do you think is going to change uh, in your practices this week? Uh, I think we're just going to game plan perfect for Gross Point South, work hard every single practice, every single minute of practice, and we're going to go in there better than ever next week. Well, I'm tired. I, I'm, 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 I apologize for calling you Andrew because you are the better looking Sokowski brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I know you want to say hello to your whole family. Hey, I'd like to say uh, hi to my mom and my dad. Thanks. Thanks, Daniel. Thank Thanks. We'll be back with game highlights right after this. We would like to thank Esplendido Mexican Cuisine for their 20 year sponsorship of both Utica and Eisenhower football coverage. It's that great taste that helps keep a great Shelby Township tradition going. The Eisenhower Eagles return to Barney Swinehart for homecoming to face their arch rivals, the Stevenson Titans. The Titans struck first on this 47-yard run by Jordan Ramsey. When the Eagles got the ball, they came out firing. First, Bennett Cardamone takes this bubble screen for a first down. Then, Preston Crum finds Aiden Ives for a big gainer and another Eagle first down. However, because of penalties, it was fourth and long for Eisenhower in Stevenson territory. This pass to Ethan Barker came up short of the mark and the ball was turned over to the Stevenson Titans. With the Titans having the football, Jordan Ramsey breaks this 47-yard run. Only Aiden Ives stopped him 
from getting into the end zone. Because of that run by Ramsey, number 21, Jordan Kwiatkowski, was able to take it in the end zone for the touchdown and the score was Stevenson 14, Eisenhower nothing. In the second quarter with its Stevenson football, the Eisenhower defense made a stand as number 74 Andrew Krasinski leads the way on this tackle, forcing the Titans to punt. On second and eight, Preston Crum would find Aiden Ives for this 31-yard gain and an Eagle first down in Stevenson territory. The drive would end, however, on this Jordan Ramsey interception. On second and 24, number 21, Jordan Kwiatkowski tries to get outside, but the Eagles were ready. After the Stevenson punt, Preston Crum goes to number 27, Daniel Sokowski, who gets good gain on this play. Then it's Sokowski again for another Eagle first down. Preston Crum would strike as he fires this pass to number 32, Bennett Cardamone, who makes a great catch down to the Stevenson five, and it's first and goal Eagles. This first and goal pass was almost intercepted by Stevenson, but an alert play by number four, Ethan Barker, saves the day as he strips the football from the Stevenson interceptor. This tip pass resulted in an Eagle touchdown. Number 27, Daniel Sokowski was jotting on the spot and was alert enough to pick this ball off in midair and take it into the end zone for an Eagle touchdown. The score now, Stevenson 14, Eisenhower seven. The first half would end with the score Stevenson 14, Eisenhower seven. To begin the second half, Preston Crum finds number 32, Bennett Cardamone, who makes this catch and run, good for 27 yards, down to the Titan 40. Then Crum would find Hayden Bills for another Eagle first down. Preston Crum would perfectly loft this pass to number one, Aiden Eyes for an Eagle touchdown. The score was tied now, 14 all. The Titans would march down the field after the Eagle TD, and they would bull their way into the end zone for a Stevenson touchdown. The score now, 21 to 14. The Eagles go to the screen pass. It is tipped and picked off by the Stevenson Titan Biagio Madonna, and it's first and 10 Titans. The Eagles thought they had a sack, as number 21 Ryan Pulisey has a hole of number six, Biagio Madonna. However, Madonna was able to get this pass off to Jordan Kwiatkowski for a Titan first down. Eventually, Madonna would power his way into the end zone, making the score 28-14 Stevenson. And to add insult to injury, the end of the third quarter, this pass was intercepted by Madonna. Eventually, the Titans would score again as Madonna takes it in for the touchdown. The score now was 35 to 14, Stevenson. The Eagles trying to come back on third down. Preston Crum would take off 
and get a first down on this 18-yard run. On the next play, Preston Crumb's pass would be picked off again by Jordan Ramsey. On fourth and long, this Madonna pass goes incomplete and it's Ike football. On Ike's next drive, Stevenson would pick this pass off and seal a Titan victory. The senior laden Stevenson Titans defeat the young Eisenhower Eagles by a score of 42 to 14. Touchdown, Stevenson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Eisenhower Eagles, uh, this young football team, ran into a um, stocked senior team on that Stevenson side, big, physical, a lot of guys with three years experience and a uh, couple of trees on the offensive line, and they, they dropped a tough one, 42 to 14. Actually kind of took a whipping tonight, but uh, you know, they're a young team and, and uh, they're only gonna get better. So hopefully they will do that next week against Gross Point South. For Coach Chris Smith, I'm Tim Meyer saying, we'll see you next time right here on the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review.